When I started caddying, I, I took a leave of absence from a bank. Thought it would be amazing to travel around the country a little bit, maybe see a little part of the world. And, and I knew the first week I did it, I was never going back. <laughs> Jim Mackay, or Bones as most people know him, has been pro golfer Phil Mickelson's caddy since 1992. Along with manning the bag, Bones has basically had the best seat in the house for every major championship Phil has played in. First time in Augusta, uh, that's the SI cover or one of them. I met up with the top rated caddy to understand the more technical side of the business and to swap roles and try my hand at caddy. Two off the first tee, right? What does that mean? That means that we hit two off the first tee. It's called having a breakfast ball, right? Okay. Because, you know, it's early and we may need two. OK, gotcha. So that hybrid that you hit on the range so well, let's hit that off this hole. I think that looks like it'll fit nicely in the fairway here. I, I love somebody making decisions for me. It's <laughs> amazing. You should get married. You've been caddying for Phil for, like, 20 years, right? Yeah, tw uh, just 24 or 5 years, yeah. Slow All right, down. breakfast ball, one more. You got your other <laughs> one with you? Oh! No sweat. One of those will be good. If, if we don't hit the shot perfectly, we want to think about how good our miss is going to be, OK? You know, I kind of want to favor the right side, because I don't want to hit a good shot off the left and have it roll got down it. in that creek. OK, cool. Well struck, good form, good swing, right? It all felt Everything great. Everything was great. Now the ball's got in the water. Oh, it's in the water? It's in the water because oh. we missed it left. Yeah. Every, every, yeah. You, you did nine out of 10. I'm still nine, having a good time. Nine out of 10. Could you take us to some of the more interesting moments, say, of Phil's career that you have sort of a unique perspective of as that number one spectator? You know, when Phil won the Masters in 2004, we had this kind of personal feeling about the 16th hole there. And it didn't necessarily add up, but we decided to kind of take a flyer on how we thought that hole played. And, and you know, he knocked in a 20-footer for two a few minutes later to tie himself for the lead, and ultimately won, you know, 15 minutes later with a birdie on 18 to win his very first major and his very first Masters. Is it his time? It's those little moments where you kind of, you know, do something as a team that works out nicely that just mean the world to you, you know, down the road. That's really well hit. OK, I'm going to try to caddy for you on this hole. All right, talk to me. So uh, you should just hit the hell out of it toward those bunkers. And then uh, you're doing great. You're handsome. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Let me grab that for you, sir. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'd love to. Do you bring anything for me to eat today? <laughs> One um, of my worst moments ever as a caddy was when Phil was playing very well in the US Open in 1995, a long time ago. I still haven't gotten over it. And he turned to me and he said, I'm starving. You know, and you, as a cat, you know, you're like a Boy Scout. You want to be prepared. You want to have everything. To this day, it still irks me. And one of the first things I think about every day when I go to work is, you know, what could he possibly ask me? Yeah. So all those things that you told me, how many of those things would you say to a pro golfer? Like, there's a creek over here. There's a wind. Do you say that pre-shot, or do you? Actually, you have to be really careful, because you don't want to put something negative in, in their head. Now, now Phil or you know, any golfer worth his salt is going to know that, right? That's why you play on Tuesday and Wednesday. You know, one of the things you don't ever want to do as a caddy is go to play go, whatever you do, don't hit it there. Very good. Sit softly. Slow That's down. a very good shot from there. So there's a real art to raking here. This is right up my alley. All right. Let's check out your raking skills. <laughs> <laughs> See, when, you, when you're doing this and you're caddying on the PGA Tour, spectators in the crowd will grade your performance. You know what I mean? So if you're doing a poor job in there, you know, the guy from, you know, guy from town's going to let you know about it. 
Not bad. What's the best golf movie? Oh, without question, Caddyshack. Caddyshack without question? Without, but as, as, as they say, the worst golf movie of all time is Caddyshack, too. <laughs> right, so. Really nice. Really, really, really good. 10 out of 10. Yes, nice high one. five from Bones. <laughs> that was tremendous. Shot of the day. Yes, sir. Ugh. I was that kid, you know, when I was 12 years old, any golf magazine that I came across, I wouldn't read it once, I'd read it six times. And I'd memorize everything in there and I could tell you where everybody went to college and I was like a little golf rat. And I wasn't very good, but I enjoyed the game and to watching these guys do their thing. And as it turned out, you know, caddying and being inside the ropes, it was incredibly uh, fortunate for me that it worked out the way it did.